Hello, we begin in Ramallah in the West Bank where international experts have begun exhuming the body of Yasser Arafat. An Al Jazeera investigation this year suggested the former Palestinian leader may have been poisoned. Arafat died in a Paris hospital in November 2004. He suffered an undetermined illness before his death. Now, this led inevitably to conspiracy theories that Arafat had cancer, AIDS or was poisoned by Israel. Israel has always denied any involvement. Now, the Al Jazeera investigation this year revealed high levels of the radioactive substance polonium-210 were found on Arafat's personal items. Al Jazeera's Nadim Baba joins me live now from Ramallah. And uh, Nadim, we understand this is a process that has been going on for several hours now and is expected to take several more. That's right, Hazem. The whole exhumation process from start to finish, uh, we believe, will take around 10 hours. Engineers um, using hand tools to actually get down through several meters of uh, layers of soil, of gravel, and a, a small layer of uh, cement before they reach the concrete casket carrying uh, housing uh, Yasser Arafat's remains. And then all the experts from France, Switzerland, and Russia will begin the process of actually taking samples. But the head of the Palestinian Investigation Committee, Taufik Tirawi, um, on Monday night told me that um, the, uh, the, the actual process of taking the samples, hand Handling Yasser Arafat's remains, rather, will only be done by Palestinians. Then the other teams will be able to actually take samples away for their own analysis. Uh, Taufik Tarawi uh, has told us that, it, that the process started several hours ago. We're not sure exactly what time it will finish. But, of course, what everyone wants to know is what they'll find in those samples. Because as Al Jazeera found in its uh, investigation aired in July, Swiss uh, experts found abnormal levels of polonium to 10, that's a radioactive substance in Yasser Arafat's clothes and in his hair. All those samples were, um, were belongings from Mr. Arafat that were containing visible biological stains. That means they have been used and we, we knew that he was wearing this, uh, this clothing at the hospital, so we, we, we did measurements on these particular stains. These levels were substantial, they were significantly different which shows that there, there is an abnormal, not normal quantity of polonium. So that reference to unsupported polonium, that means that it's a radioactive substance produced in a nuclear reactor, something that's very hard to get hold of for normal people. So, of course, here in, the, in Ramallah, the suspicion has always been that somehow Israel was involved in Yasser Arafat's death by poisoning, many people believe, and many people believe that they were helped by people within the Palestinian Authority. At the moment, um, yeah, uh, Taufik Sharawi, the head of the investigation here, has said that they have questioned some people at some levels. That's all they're saying in terms of which Palestinians have been interviewed. It's going to be a long process. He says that the results might not be known for months. All right, Nadine, thanks very much. Nadine Barber, live in Ramallah.